Hey and welcome everybody, this is James E. Jones and I'm here going to show you how to uh, mine some beta coin with CG Miner very, very simply. Uh, sim simply. Sim anyways, uh, here we go. First thing you're going to need to go to is I'll give you a link and it will take you to this website, but you'll need to register. So you're going to need to make a profile. I've already made a profile, it's super easy. I mean, I'm sure you've signed up on a website before. So, anyways, once you make a profile, I'm going to log into my account, which is James D. Jones Second, and uh, my password is what is my password? Okay, all right, here we go. We're logged in. Awesome. All right, now this. Anyways, this is the pool. This is where we're going to be mining. Uh, we're going to be mining with a whole bunch of people, and we're going to be get paid in a in a uh, beta coins and uh, first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to go make a worker uh, so that we can connect to this website uh, I don't have any workers made so I'm going to name my worker uh, GPU because I'm going to be mining with my graphics card uh, as most of you probably will unless you've spent a whole bunch of money and if you've spent a whole bunch of money then I hope you already know how to do this anyways uh, we're going to name the worker GPU and we're going to name his password derp. All right, cool. Add worker. And we've got ourselves a worker. Now remember the name of your worker is actually your login name, then a period, and plus whatever you titled it, GPU. Just remember that and also remember your password. Your password should definitely be different than your your actual login password. So yeah. Just going to let you know that. Okay, now we need to go and download CG Miner 3.66, and I seriously suggest you get this one and not any other version, newer or older. This is the one I use, and this is the one I'm teaching you how to use, and this is the one I know works. So seriously, get that one. Alright? You're going to need, like, um, Win7Zip or, or WinRAR or some kind of extracting program to open it up. Anyways, once you download it, you're going to extract it to your desktop, and you'll have a file that looks exactly like this. And this is a file we'll be using in a moment, too, but you won't have this yet. So this is the file you got, and this is what the insides of it looks like. Let me get this a bit bigger. All right. And this is exactly how it comes brand new. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get yourself notepad bam old school notepad and you're going to want to copy and paste the code I've given you in the description which is going to look like change it real quick so you can see what I'm doing here it's going to look like copy paste exactly like that alright that's the code that I'm gonna give you now in this section in the USER user you're going to punch in your login for the website for the account that you made which is mine is James sorry I just wrote my last name James D Jones and then period and then the title of your miner that you gave uh, which mine is GPU alright cool and then we're going to add the password which is derp which is my password and now we're going to file save as and we have to go down here and select all files and then we have to go up here and type in uh, CG minor that's CG minor dot and this is important C O N F that's config stands it's a configuration file and we need to save this in oh no here we go <laughs> desktops we'll just save it to the desktop alright and then save I already have that file configured but I'm gonna go ahead and replace it okay we'll save that file to the desktop like I said and there it is that's the file I'll open it up it's gonna open up in notepad plus plus instead of instead of notepad Okay, here, let me just open up Notepad. Crap, I don't have that option. Anyways, here it is. This is... 
this is it right here in Notepad++. Sorry, it looks a little bit different what with this not being in Notepad. But anyways, that's the code they gave you. As you can see, um, James E. Jones, sorry, second, I meant to add that, save it. But yeah, that'll be, this part will be your user login for your website, and then this part over here will be the title of your miner that you gave. Uh, it can be whatever you want to, but just make sure you do add your user login for the website, and then dot, and then the title of your miner. And then your password for the miner, not the password for your website. And once you have that saved, we're going to take this file, that that's what this file is, cgminer.config, and we are going to drop it into uh, into the folder that contains all the program and, and applications for CG Miner. Now, once we've dropped it in this folder, as you can see, there it is, right there. <coughs> we're going to go back up here and select CG Miner, the application, and we're going to double-click on it. It's going to launch. And there we go. We're hashing away at a total of my horrible graphics card, which is why I have a Bitcoin eruptor uh, running. But anyways, this this uh, this is my your graphics card. This is the speed. Now you've got mega hashes. You've got actually you've got kilo hashes, which is like if you're mining to kilo hashes, you might as well not be mining. If you're mining mega hashes, you should probably be above 100. And if you're mining at giga hashes, then obviously you've bought some equipment. Anyways, uh, let me to explain a few small things about this. Like I said, this is going to be your speed uh, of mega hashing and and what you're doing. And this right here is going to be your temperature. Usually, it'll tell you your temperature of your graphics card, which it's running a little bit hot right now. Um, and then there, over here, is your shares. The longer you run this application, the more shares you're going to get, and that's a good way to tell if you're connected to the network. It's going to take you a moment to get shares, um, especially running at 27 mega hashes a second. But anyways, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can go back to the website that we were at, um, and like I said, I'm going to give you the link to that website, uh, and then the second link will be the link to the download. <clears throat> but yeah, I hope this helped. You can go to your dashboard on the website and you can see at what speeds you're hashing away at. And it's got gonna say that I'm hashing right now because I haven't gotten to share yet. Uh but anyways, that's about it guys and I hope that you guys can uh use this and let me know if uh if you need some more help and uh just post and tell me that uh you need some more help. But uh yeah, uh, I'll probably make another one of these videos explaining how to actually set up a, a Bitcoin eruptor, which is a, like a, I think it's $40 you can buy one, and it gives you 333 mega hashes of speed, uh, how to set up one of those with, with a CG miner. But, uh, yeah, I hope this, uh, helped y'all guys, and have a good one.